Are you guys losing to Maridon on the ladder? Well, let me introduce you to the team that will hopefully be able to fix your issues. Now I need to preface, I do not claim to be guilty if you lose to Maridon, you might just be getting outplayed, but this team should help a lot. And if you enjoy and want to see more teams like this, of course, like and subscribe for more. And with that said, let's get into today's team, which is built around the Cosmo Dolmix. Now I'm going to be honest. I'm probably, uh, I, I shit on this mod a lot. I really do. But Necros Madonna's is kind of fun. Uh, it's a Terra Fairy set with Power Herb. This is a really good abuser of Terra because you use Prism Armor as an ability to mitigate weakness damage, at least. It's kind of like Filter in that sense, but it's not going to get pressured by Mold Breaker because all the Gen 7 trio ignores Mold Breaker, which is kind of cool. Uh, fun fact. Um, and with the Terra Fairy in particular, it's a nice defensive typing. You can mitigate the incoming poison and steal a little bit. And then also get rid of your four times weakness to both Dark and Ghost, which is really crucial considering two of the best mons right now are Incineroar and Kali Shadow. So getting rid of that typing is really good. It's also better than Lunala technically for this team in particular because it is a lot slower. Uh, 20 base speed slower to be exact, which means it is better suited for being a Trick Room Abuser. And with the expanding force and Psychic Terrain, this is pretty powerful. Uh, and Deity's obviously our Psychic Terrain setter. We have Gatlight as well, which is a pretty cool option. I found it really useful on Psy Spam in general, uh, even before this format. And with Wide Guard, it's only established a role much more clearly. And Clear Meal is great for the instant matchup. This is a great revenge killer for it in case you're tired of using Manchow. Uh, we have Asu again, which is a nice option for that Torkoal, which is essentially giving our team a nice fast mode with After You and Sleep Powder. Gives us some good support overall. Torkoal is great for a nice slow trick room breaker, and also it's great with Lilligan for a nice fast mode. And then finally, we have Ursulina Blood Moon, which is really just here for breaking matchups like Terrapagos because Galad cannot do it on its own. Especially if we're going for the trigger mount, Galad really cannot do it on its own. Um, and especially if it's spamming Wide Guard, we need something to actually wall break it. Ursulina is great for that. It's also a good ground type, and especially with Moradon getting on the rise right now, having a good ground type to shatter that thing is really important. So, hopefully with the Ndidi removing terrain and the Ursulina just dealing damage, we can do enough to Moradon, but it is still a very powerful threat. And if you want to see if we can handle Moradon, check out the rest of the video here. For now though, if you want to try this team out yourself, Runnels on screen with the paste in the description, and let's get into today's battles. All right, here we are with the Negrozma Dawnwing Showcase. Uh, this should be a pretty good team, in my opinion, for anyone fighting against the Maradon team especially, and I'm hoping we can fight it, or at least some other Maradon team. Uh, I will say, my rating is not that high on Battle Stadium right now. Um, we have been using a lot of teams that I am literally trying day of for the first time. This included, by the way. Um, so... Uh, the rating is not the best. We're at like 9,400. I want to be fully transparent because that might paint the picture that we're not like, like right now, for example, we're fighting against a team with a lot of unconventional mods, none of which I think are objectively bad. I think these are all good mods on their own right, but they're all missing a couple very key partners to make them work. One of which being Chimpao, which is a big partner for a lot of these to be viable. Um, however, at the same time though, I do think that because of the fact that that team just won a regional, they're still a 50 50 we might fight it or at least more ride on in some capacity so hopefully we do at minimum though the second terrain plus the ursaluna should put up a lot of pressure into that in case you're wondering what the team does against Maradon. um in terms of my lead i think i'm just gonna lead in dd and i think i lead in dd urs we go with uh dawn and i think we go with um actually hold on we go with galid and then we're gonna withdraw and I think this is literally the lead. I don't really care about the weather in all honesty because realistically Torkoal actually is a pretty terrible matchup because of Heatran and Dragonite. Uh, the two together put up a lot of pressure under Torkoal actually. And on top of that as well, the Zama is probably a defensive Terra. If I had to guess, so I know some Zama do go with Ghost because it's nice for the mirror. Um, but I've seen a lot more go for water. Um, I'm also pretty partial to Dragon to be completely honest though. With Maradon going up, I probably wouldn't recommend that. Even though it's probably a lot better for like the Ogre Palm matchup. Having Maridon be a top tier Pokemon, or at least a top usage Pokemon, I should say. I was still, Jury's still out if it's top tier, but I think it's at least a great Pokemon. Uh, but top tier might be a bit of a stretch. Um, considering its usage, though, as of the rental going up, or more so, uh, more so the team being public, uh, I wouldn't really run Terra Dragon just because Maridon is a thing now, just because of recent regionals. Now they're actually not Zama crowned. Which is an interesting thought. That means this is a much more offensive Zamazenta. Um, and I do need to be a bit careful with that. So with that in mind, I think I'm actually going to go for a follow me here. Let Indeedee die. And I'm going to go for Trick Room. Initially, I wanted to actually go for the Sacred Sword into the Titar. Despite the fact that they're probably going to go for an obvious Terra. Or Sacred Sword into the Zamazenta. I don't really care about either though. Uh, they're probably going to go for Terra Flying. Um, oh no, they're Terra Fairy. Okay, Terra Fairy is interesting. It's still the same sort of concept. But it's a lot less scary, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. Um, not only this, but we still kinda achieve the same goal here of 
neutralizing the Zamazenta, hopefully. And I will say Band might be a bit scary. Oh, they're going for Coaching. Oh, Coaching is wild. That is a wild thing to click, but I, especially... Okay, so they're Terra Fairy, which actually makes this very terrifying. Um, they're clicking... Oh, they're clicking Knock Off. Oh, what's that? Oh, thank God. That's perfect. I kid you not, that's probably the best turn that could have happened right here. Um, I'm gonna go into Dawn Wings. I'm gonna go into Dawn Wings. I'm gonna kinda cook. Um, actually, do I even go Dawn Wings? I think I go Dawn Wings, yeah. Um, because if I go Dawn Wings and burn that Terra, that, that suddenly becomes a monster. I can go for the Meteor Beam right into that Titar, which is definitely AV, by the way. There is no world where that is not AV Terra Blast. That's like Terra Blast, Knock Off, Rock Slide, and probably Filler. Um, and that's what kind of loses to Dawn Wings, actually, weirdly enough. Um, there's not really a lot they could do even with the plus one, because they now can't get the plus two, unfortunately, because of the speed advantage. And I'm going to go for my Terra here to avoid dying to knockoff, and I'll go for Meteor Beam. Right off the bat, that should be pretty huge. I'm going to also go for Psycho Cut into the Zamazenta. I don't really care if Titar goes for Wide Guard here. Uh, I know Titar has the speed advantage. I more care about killing the Zamazenta here, though, as well as future incoming Pokemon such as Dragonite. So I would much rather kill that. Thankfully, they have also switched out of their wide guard potential Pokemon. And I will say with coaching, that's a lot less likely they had wide guard. Oh, they're going to the Rillaboom? Room? Okay, I don't really care anyway. Um, I was going to say I can click Expanding Force. They have Rillaboom, Room, honestly, pretty fair click. I don't really care, though, because Moongeist was honestly only zero drawback click since they got rid of their Dark type. They also got rid of their potential to Terra into normal. So they actually have zero check to Moongeist Beam, which is probably a far more clickable move here. Um, not that Expanding Force wasn't free, because again, they also got rid of their Dark type, and their one Steel type, they didn't bring a Steel type move on. Or well, more so, they didn't bring as a Steel type. So, that was also pretty free to click, but with Rillaboom just existing, Moogast was always the click here. Uh, Meteor Beam's gonna be huge, though, uh, and we can still get some serious damage from that Rillaboom, which is gonna be pretty nice. Uh, losing our terrain is not the best look, I won't lie, but at minimum, we can get off some serious damage with both the Gallade and the Necrozma, and it does look like we actually underpaced Tatar, which is a pretty big deal. Um, at minimum, I can kill the Titar this turn, which is a- that's honestly what I would prefer. I would prefer to kill the Titar. Um, just to be safe, I'll Moongeist the Rillaboom because it's a lot easier to kill that. And I'm just gonna go for Sacred Sword into the Titar. Actually, not Sacred Sword. I'm gonna- well, yeah, I'm gonna go for Sacred Sword. Realistically, I don't really care about, uh, the Titar. One, I don't really care about it. But two, also, I'm pretty confident I'm gonna kill the Titar. Uh, these do look both fairly invested, though, to say the least, which is fine. That's kind of what I expected. Um, we're gonna go for Sacred Sword. Actually, I can go for Psycho Cut. Uh, Psycho Cut's still a low drawback, um, because it's 100%. I was thinking he was Zen Headbutt for some reason. I was like, oh, okay, well, I should probably click Zen Headbutt here. I know, it doesn't really matter. Both these Pokemon should drop, or at minimum, whatever one really doesn't choose to fake out should drop. And the other one still kind of has to, like, die. Preferably is the Titar. Um, but I don't really mind either way. They're definitely gonna fake out the Dawnwings. Yep, okay, they're gonna fake out the Dawnwings, which is perfect. Uh, I, I knew for a fact they would fake out the Dawnwings, which is why I'm kind of okay with this. Um, because the middle of the Titar dies. So they, they burn a turn going for fake out. They'll probably get a Grassy Glide next turn, but that won't even kill me. I'm shocked if it would. I really doubt that Rillaboom is capable of actually carrying my Dawnwings with a Grassy Glide. With a Wood Hammer, that's a different story. I feel confident I can kill with a Wood Hammer, but with Grassy Glide, I really don't think so. I, I don't think it's in Rillaboom's bag. Considering Dominus is a fairly bulky Pokemon. Like, like I, I shit on this Pokemon a lot, actually, pre-format. And, and I'm still an avid Dominus hater. I think it is just really shitty Lunala. As much as I have enjoyed using it in my single draft days, I won't forget my roots. Um, I'm not that out of touch. Dominus is a fun draft mod. But, like, on ladder, it's really not good. However, I think this is the perfect format for it. I think with Terra, it's a really good abuser. Especially as a nice option for Trick Room. Because it is a more optimal route. Their last one's Lanterous. Oh, that is beautiful. Perfect. Okay, we're going to go for Psycho Cut and a Rillaboom, and I'm going to go for Moongeist into that Lander T. Uh, that Landorus is going to be pretty fucked, actually, I can't lie. And the Sacred Sword, just for good measure, it'll do slightly more damage in case the Psycho Cut was a roll. They actually forfeit, which is beautiful. Um, true poetry, actually, for this team, because Dawnwings would have probably ransacked anyway. Uh, barring, like, an Iron Head on the Zama Crown, they probably actually just lost right here. Because they would have probably had to actually switch into Zama at some point and Intimidate Cycle. Well, not even Intimidate Cycle, just, like, Fake Out Cycle my team through Trick Room. Which is fine, because I don't think they actually killed Dawnwings. So, we'll take it. Uh, solid game one. Um, hopefully, we can fight Maradon. We still have probably at least three, if not four more games to go. So, we'll see you guys in game number two. For game number two, we are not fighting Maradon. Very unfortunate, I know. I know everyone clicked on this video waiting for the Maradon game. I'm going to try and find one. I'm really, I'm really going to try to find one. Even if I need to cut some games, which I fully plan on doing to get to Maradon. Because that's the goal of the video. But we're fighting budget Maradon. Raging Bull. Uh, I can't lie, this is a pretty decent matchup. Uh, I think this is one of those games where, like, our Trick Room kind of beats theirs, but, like, also we don't really technically want to plan to go for Trick Room. 
Uh, Torkoal is a really good option. I think if I could burn Terra on the Calyrex, Torkoal can kind of win. Um, so I'm going to pursue that. I think we're going to go with Indeedy and Gallade yet again. I think it's a really good lead into their team, actually. And barring or Shifu, we can kind of bully them really easily. Uh, we're going to go with Dawnwings, and I'm going to go with Torkoal. I don't really need our Saluna. It is a good Mon here, objectively, but I don't really need it for a budget Raging Bolt. Um, I could actually maybe even bring it over Dawnwings. I feel like that's kind of a route. Um, or even over Gallade. I actually do kind of like it over Gallade. Um, I'm going to do that. Because I think, especially depending on the lead they go for, like if th they don't have terrain. So there are certain leads where I can kind of just trick them plus expanding force. And even if they kill my setter, I can punish their team very quickly with that. Uh, barring like a Terra Dark, they, they don't really have any check by heads in Sinar, Which in Sinar has its own case of issues to worry about with Dawnwings. So I can kind of work around that. My opponent's going to lead off with Incinara Raging Bolt. Okay, honestly, very doable. Like, this is extremely doable. In fact, I would argue this is very bad for my opponent. Um, what I'm going to proceed to do, I'm going to go for a Meteor Beam and Terra Fairy immediately into that Incin. Terra Fairy is really good against these two in particular. It gives me a great wall to ride on. At least for the, uh, assuming that they're like Thunderclap, Snarl, Dragon Pulse, and like Volt Switch or uh, Thunderbolt. Really, only Thunderbolt would actually pressure me. And on top of that as well, if I go for a... I'm actually going to go for a Helping Hand here, just to make sure if that's AV and Zidor, it's going to kill. This is overkill, but I don't really care about getting Trick Room up against a core like this, especially with a Kali backline. I'd really rather not. And it looks like they're going to switch, actually. I'm curious into what. It's probably going to be... I think it's probably Kali. No, it's Amoongus. Okay. I don't know why I thought Kali there, but like this is good either way. We're going to get some serious damage off of that Amoongus, and I can expand Force next turn without any pressure. Uh, I'm curious as to what they'll actually go for here, but I don't really care. Uh, I'm also curious if this will actually kill into the Amoongus. Um, we are helping hand boost it, and we're going to be plus one, obviously, because that's how Meteor Beam works. So I'm kind of curious if this kills. Um, I really don't think it will. Okay, especially not after a Snarl. There is no way after a Snarl it kills. But I would be shocked if we don't 2 a KO. Especially with the helping hand, I feel like it's a guaranteed 2 a KO right there. Um, which should be fine. Honestly, that, that's good damage. Um, what I'm going to proceed to do, I'm going to go for a Expanding Force here, plus a helping hand. I just kind of work with that until I can kill the Raging Bolt. Like, even with minus one, minus two, etc., we're still kind of fine. And that Amoongus, yeah, that Amoongus takes so much damage. That definitely dies after an Expanding Force. We'll go for a Helping Hand here. Unfortunately, this is a situation where having, like, a backline Galley could have been pretty cool. Um, but it doesn't really matter a lot, because, again, Expanding Force will just do so much damage. They don't have a Psychic Resist on this team outside of Calyrex, which doesn't really want to take a Moongeist Beam. They're going to go for Protect here, which is fine. They're trying to get another Spore off, which is good. Um, well, not Spora, Snarl off, which, again, is, is good for them. It doesn't really matter for me in the long run, though. Um, I could probably switch out Dawnwings, actually, pretty confidently, and then just go hard into Ursaluna if they bring it in Sonora again, which is fine. Honestly, I really don't care, because it just helps me reset the boost. Well, the, the drops, I should say, because we're technically minus one, actually, which is kind of funny. Um, crit goes off. That, that probably matters a lot. I'm assuming that's AV. Um, we're gonna go for Helping Hand and Expanding Force again. At minimum, we kill one of these Pokemon. I doubt they double switch. And if they do double switch into specifically Incineroar plus Calyrex, that's kind of fine. I think I'll actually commit to the Raging Bolt Sack just for the extra Snarl. And then go into Incineroar with the Amoongus. And then probably once Cali die, well, uh, once Raging Bolt dies, I'll go into Cali, which is kind of fine. I don't really mind that. Um, okay, so they're gonna switch out Raging Bolt actually, which is pretty big. Um, a killing the Amoongus here is actually really huge. They're gonna go into Cali. That's a really big deal, actually. Hold on. That is a huge deal. Are they gonna switch out Amoongus as well? No, they're gonna let Amoongus die, I think. Unless they're going for Terra Dark? Are they gonna go for Terra Dark and Sport? That, that's a pretty cool lure if they're gonna go for Terra Dark. They are going for Terra Dark. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. I, I kind of fuck with that, actually. Um, that's, that's not terrible. For what it's worth, I can kind of confidently trick him against this. And at minimum, Cali still takes a good chunk from this. Like, it's not going to kill by any sense of the word. But it will do a decent chunk. And Cali without boosts will probably not kill me anyway. So I'm kind of okay with that. Um, Unfortunately, our Dominus is going to get Spore, which is not the best, but it's, it could be worse. It could definitely be worse. Um, I'm going to go for Trick Room here. Um, Actually, no. I'm going to go for Gleam. I'm actually very confident that Amoongus will seek the kill here. Well, will seek the Spore here. And I'm going to go for Gleam and Moongeist Beam. I would rather put the pressure on the Calyrex. They still haven't actually seen the team. Oh my god, that did nothing. That did like literally nothing. I know we're minus two to be fair, but still, it did no damage. Um, I would like to put pressure on the Calyrex, if nothing else. Um, they're going to definitely continue to Spore. 
which is fine. Um, unfortunately, we do lose our Indeedee, which is not the best, but it could be worse. Um, and then Amoongus is probably gonna go for Spore here. Maybe Palmpuff, to be fair. Palmpuff is decent. Yeah, they're gonna go for Spore. Okay. Honestly, it's, it's a safe play for them. I don't blame them. Okay, we're gonna go into Ursaluna here. Um, and I'm gonna go for Protect plus a Moongus Beam. I uh, minimum, I do feel confident I can pressure that Calyrex down pretty easily. Um, and this Protect here will only help with that. I just need to get the wake up on this turn. If I don't wake up on this turn, that's actually a big problem. Um, if Calyrex goes for Protect, I wake up, etc. That's also a big problem. They're actually going to switch though, which switching here is a big deal for me. Um, I can probably... I can potentially take advantage of that, I should say. Um, I will say that Calyrex is kind of a big deal. Um, we're going to get the Protect off. Okay, so that's good at least. That means that Calyrex probably didn't Protect. And we do wake up. Okay, that is huge actually. That's a gate winning right there. I'm gonna be honest. They actually don't have an out. They have no out now because the, the Ursuline actually wins the game. Oh, holy fuck. Never mind. I got two carried away. We lose the game. <laughs> we lose the game so easily, in fact, now. Um, it's not even funny. We actually we we so lose the game. We so lose the game. I got way too cocky. What the fuck? Mo that mod is so dumb. Why does Darwin suck ass? I know it's minus one, but why does this mod suck ass? Oh no. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. What the fuck? Um, oh, and Incineroar gets a fake out turn here for free. Oh no. Oh fuck. Okay, well, um, I need to I actually I need to subvert expectations here. I need to go for the double protect on Ursa, land it, and go for an uh, go for an eruption. Uh, I'll be honest, I think that's my out. That's my out. Getting the double protect here is pretty huge, actually. Um, even Eruption will kill the Kali at this point. I feel very confident that even after a plus two lands, it'll kill. Um, if Torkoal gets fake outed, I fucking lose. Like, really badly, actually, I lose. But I kind of just need to hope they'll fake out into the Ursa Luna. Um, I think there's a world they do. Just considering the fact that we are, we did already burn a protect turn, and Torkoal could, in theory, still go for one. Um, not that it's optimal. Okay, fuck, they actually make the play. Holy shit, did I get bailed? If they horsepower me, I think I lose. I definitely lose, actually, if they horsepower. They horsepower. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. I mean, honestly, that didn't matter anyway. That did not matter anyway, because I got fake out of it regardless. Um, technically speaking, it might have been more optimal to, to protect on both ones, but I kind of had to hope they would kill the Ursa. I mean, good play. Good play. Honestly, I, I don't... That, that's good. good win for my opponent. Uh, we're one and one for the day. We'll see you guys in game number three. Hopefully, we can get a good win. Um, at minimum, this was a close one. Oh, well, okay. This wasn't close. I got fucked. I got fucked badly. Uh, the Star All Raging Bolt did me in. I do not think that Dawn Wings would be so fucking weak. Uh, hopefully game three goes better. All right. For game number three, uh, it looks like we're fighting, uh, for lack of a better term, we're fighting a best of one team. This is definitely policy armors. Um, so we will need to be careful about that. But thankfully, I do feel confident in getting up Trick Room against this. Um, I'm very curious if this is like a beat up Whimsicott plus armors. And for that reason, I feel like I need a Sunline. I feel like a Sunline actually kind of fucks. Sunline kind of fucks. Yeah, hold on. Um, Sunline fucks. We're going to go for this. We're going to go with Didi. And then we're going to go with... Um, actually, no. I'm going to go with uh, Gallade. Because I might need that wide guard very badly, actually. I think we need Dominic's as final one. Uh, Dawn Wings offensively, barring that Indeedee, like, if we can kill that Indeedee, Dawn Wings really does go in. Um, they don't have a great defensive response, and Galley plus Dawn Wings is a decent backline. Uh, it could be a decent frontline, too, for what it's worth, but I feel very confident that they're gonna go for beat up and then, like, store power arm again. They're actually gonna go for Valiant Indeedee. What a lead. Um, not really too concerned with this. Because my play is honestly probably just to go for the Solar Blade into the Gallade. And then go for Protect. I'm pretty confident that Gallade is going to click Wide Guard, like, right away. Um, I could also Sleep Powder into that Indeedee just to avoid Trick Room. But they don't really have a Trick Room team. So I'm kind of fine with that. Um, there's also a world where I think they just go for Follow Me. But I think at that point, I think Gallade clicks a more offensive move. And by going for Protect, I'm not really too scared of that. So we're gonna go for this. We're gonna get the protect off in Torkoal, so we are the only one that could protect this turn. Um, that means they probably didn't click. Oh, they did click wide guard. Okay, so this is decent. This is decent actually, um, because I've now broken the sash of this thing. Oh no, it's booster. So we actually we probably just kill. Honestly, we probably just kill. Now I will say I'm kind of curious what the Indeedee is gonna click here. I'm actually very curious what the Indeedee is gonna click. But we've oh my god, we do nothing. 
Oh, the clicking hyper voice? Okay, that's okay. That's honestly fine. Um, We're gonna take nothing. We take, like, literally nothing from that. I'm going for after you here, because we know that Torkoal will probably take a hit. I'm confident that my opponent will not actually pursue this. Um, We're gonna go for just Eruption. I don't need Terrifier. It's decent to have, I don't need it. Oh, they're good. Okay, they're good. They're good. They're good. Um, I think I just go for the Flamethrower into the Indeedee, plus a... Plus a solar blade again. Because I can't disrupt my weather. Um, the weather is still decent here. The white girl was annoying, but like I get it. I, I get it. I get it. It's a it's a good play. I, I didn't think they would double it after failing the first time, but objectively it's probably the correct play to make. Um, I just didn't think they would make this at all. Um, I'll be honest. And it, it does kind of speed things up if I do get that right. So okay, we're gonna solar blade and I'm gonna go for a flamethrower here. Uh that's at least pressure on the Indeedy still. So in case they're banking on that, they're gonna have to follow me. Okay, follow me is decent. Uh so they're seeking a kill right now. Which is fine. Um, they're seeking the kill. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. I kind of wish I... They, they actually baited me. I was trying to bait them into not clicking wide card, but they baited me into not clicking eruption, which... Good play. Um, Torgo's gonna take a CC. This will actually... Yeah, this will still take it, at least. Um, in a minimum there, indeed, he's gonna get pretty pressured. I can probably even just go for a Solar Blade plus Protect. And if I can survive the turn, I can probably just go for an Afternoon Heat Wave after that, which is good. Um... Depending on what comes in, I might even after you and go for the flamethrower into the next spot if it's like a Calyrex. Um, there, there's like lines that this could kind of work. Um, it just kind of depends on what comes in. I might let both months die. They're gonna go into Calyrex. Okay, honestly, not a huge deal. Um, okay. So what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna go for a sleep powder here into the Cali. And then I'm gonna go for a flamethrower into the into the Valiant, because I get to another Wide Guard Mon. I feel confident they're gonna go for Wide Guard plus Astral. I feel very confident that's their play. I would love to sleep out of the Cali. I think it's a really good turn for me if we can make that work. Uh, I'll, I'll be, I know we're banking on 75, but I feel like, I feel like considering today is a Thursday that I'm recording this, that Galux should have it, that I should hit the Sleep Powder. I haven't asked for much this game. This is actually probably the only lucky thing I've asked for this game, and it's probably the only unlucky move I've clicked besides Meteor Beam. Uh, so as Galux should have it, I should hit this. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, Galak means that I can hit this the first time I click it. And what do you know? Girlies, you're getting good luck today. I don't make the rules, I just make the terminology that happens to be lucky. Um, Torkoal will unfortunately die, but that's a worthwhile trade. That is actually such a good trade for me. Um, because now I can probably unironically click Solar Blade plus Terra Fairy and Meteor Beam. Not Meteor Beam, um, Moon Guys Beam. I think we have some for two more turns. I want to say two more turns. Um, we're going in, we're going into Dawn. We're going into Dawn Wings for certain. Um, I'm not going to look at anything flashy. I could technically go for After You plus Meteor Beam. I don't really think I need to, in all honesty. We have one more turn of Sunlight. Uh, yeah, okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to Solar Blade into the Valiant because we do have pace. And then we're going to go for Terra Fairy and Moon Guys Beam into the Kali. Um, because that can guarantee hit. This also helps defensively in case of a first turn wake up because Kali has no boost yet, thankfully. They're going to Terra. Terra is decent. They're gonna tear the Cali. Please do not be normal. For the love of God, it's fairy. Okay, thank fuck. Thank fuck. I was really worried about normal. If they if they read me with normal, good boy. Honestly, it's just like with the Terra Dark Amoongus, I can't do much about it. Um, but this is good. This is good. Because at minimum, uh, we're also Terra Fairying, which is decent. And when I lose my when I lose my uh Indeedy on the next turn. Oh uh, not my Indeedy, my Lilligant on the next turn. That's pretty good for us. Uh, at minimum, they're gonna probably wide guard. I feel confident. No, they're not gonna wide guard. Okay, I could have clicked after you. I could have clicked after you in expanding force, and they'd have been fucked. Um, still not a huge deal. Valiant dies either way, and that Dawnlings is still taking considerable damage. Uh, now Valiant is definitely fodder. Objectively, it is fodder at this point. I'm uh, not Valiant. Um, Lilligan. Lilligan is objectively fodder, but she did her best. She did her job. Unfortunately, Kali woke up. That's super fucked. Um, actually, this kind of works out well. This might actually be a good thing because we didn't take any boosts well Kali didn't get any boosts yet so i can actually bring in dalid and then go for wide guard which actually works out really well for me um because i can go for wide guard plus trick room and that i think wins me the game actually um Kali also takes a lot from that that was a crit okay that actually explains a lot um because Kali is decent bulk and i felt like a neutral hit without any boost wasn't gonna do that much but the crit actually makes sense um especially considering how weak the minus one hits were that makes sense uh, they're going for armorage. Okay, I'm kind of curious if they're going to click the Heat Wave. Um, like, I feel like Heat Wave plus Astral here kind of is, like, their click. 
They might even click Expanding Force, I would argue. They're definitely, they're also, uh, they're also Terrain Extender, which actually works out really well for us. Um, we're clicking Wide Guard plus Trigger. They're definitely clicking Dual Spread. I feel very convinced they're clicking Astral Barrage plus Expanding Force here. I'm actually very certain of that. I would argue that is 100% their click, which is really good for us. They're clicking Protect. What fucking insane person. <laughs> okay, um, I kid, I kid. That's actually a reasonable play. That's a very reasonable play, especially if Armour is gonna go for Expanding Force here. That is a very reasonable play. Um, they're going for Meteor Beam. What the fuck? Who clicks that? Who clicks that godforsaken move? If that's into Dawn Wings, I lose. Holy fuck, don't be into Dawn Wings. Don't be into Dawn Wings. Do not be into fucking- That's into Dawn Wings. Oh fuck, I think I lose. Oh my god, I fucking take the hit. What the fuck? Oh my god, what fucked up person clicks that move here? Holy shit. That's terrifying. Um, okay. So, class, what have we learned today? Um, fuck, fuck that. Whatever that was, fuck that. Um, I probably kill also. Um, I need to kill armors. I need to kill armors before it expanding forces. Um, I, I need to click this specifically because the 100% accurate, I'm going to be honest. I did not trust Meteor Beam. I already got my luck. Thank God. Thank fucking God this weak piece of shit Pokemon hit its move. I'm so hoping I do not get demonetized for how much I've been swearing. The past like 10 minutes has been like 50 swears. I swear to God. Um, okay. So we win. We're two and one for the day. Honestly, kind of cooking. Lilligant did one for the girlies and we, we got to win. Uh, that, that one turn literally, like, saved us. It quite literally was, like, the perfect amount of time to sleep talk. And I think, uh, not only that, but we actually got really lucky with the turn we woke up. Because I actually think keeping a DD around when Armourish came in would have been disadvantageous, especially seeing Gear Beam. That would have sucked. That would have really sucked, because Donwings would, on uh, Cali would not have clicked Protect there. If that was, uh, if that was not Gallade. I feel very confident in that, actually. So, I'll take it. We're two and one. Uh, we're gonna definitely get one more game in, unless it's like a two minute forfeit. We're not gonna get two more in, but I'll take that. Uh, so we'll see you guys in our final game. I'm gonna try and skip around to Maradon. I'll, I'll give it like three or four games. If we can't find it, we can't find it. Uh, just note though, the team does work for Maradon. I promise. Would you look at that? I think I quite literally in one game rolled the team that won Indy, which is so fucking funny. Because I called it too. I was like, oh, I'm gonna skip around games. No, no, no. Unironically, and I'll show it after this. Um, because I started the video. I started the video with, okay actually technically speaking i don't really show my rating in any other videos so it won't really matter but just just trust me just trust me i promise it unironically was uncut uh really funny timing though i i cannot lie that is super funny timing uh i do want to add really quickly by the way that if we do lose this because this is a good team and i haven't actually played the team before um i just know it's like it's a very terrifying team because actually if we do lose the game still that is not because the team cannot handle maradon that is because i am getting outplayed that is because I suck at the game. The team can still have lines. Um, we're going to hopefully try to show that off. I will say the Furin can be kind of annoying. I do need to double check something really quickly if it is public. I don't think we're going to find it in time, to be honest. Um, I need to kind of commit to a lead. But I'll... Okay, okay. So I'll commit to a lead as if that Furin does not prison. And I kind of need to lead off with uh, Ndidi and uh, Dawnwings at that point, actually. And then go with like Ursa and Torkoal as my pack line. I feel very confident that we don't eat Gallade, despite the fact that Wide Guard is decent for that Discharge spam. I don't think we really need it. Um, I think we much more need the other mods. I do need to double check something though. Um, let me double check. Let me double check. Um, okay, so um, Indie Regionals 2024. Let me double check on Victory Road because the minimum the open team sheet should be up, right? Incineroar for Rig. That is a fine lead for us, actually. My goodness, why are all these light mode caps popping up? Okay, perfect. Uh, yep. Okay. So that is not in prison for but it does have foul play fuck that's kind of terrifying that's actually super terrifying hold on um they're 100 switching into maraud on here by the way 100 i don't make the rules um that's good to note though i think i kind of need to burn terra fairy already and just go for the calvin hand and let me double check actually because they don't have at minimum they don't have snarl that could kind of be a decent play actually um i'm gonna go for helping hand here and I'm gonna go for the Terra Fairy Meteor Beam into that instant. At minimum, this still helps a lot offensively. They're gonna switch out of Farig. That's definitely into the that's definitely into the uh Maradin. Yep, okay, Maradin comes in. Perfectly fine. Um I could probably honestly just go for a for a follow me and trick room. Pretty confident that we'll take this hit. 
I won't act like I know for certain that we take this hit, but I would say there's a somewhat decent chance. Now they might go for fake out here. Um, fake out would kind of suck. Fake out would be kind of dirty. Um, I don't like that play if they go for fake out, I'll be honest. Um, specifically into Dominic. So if they go for it in DD, I don't really care. Um, but don't go for fake out. It's a good play. But like, oh no, okay, fuck. Uh, they, they read the Terra. Honestly, good play. As I said, this is one of those instances where we can't judge the team quality by the fact that I'm getting outplayed. Um, I need that very clear. Uh, okay. So, anyway. We're gonna try and make this work anyway. Um, we do need to swap here. Well, actually, no. I need to actually go for a Volume and Trigger. I need to kind of commit to that line. Um, so we're gonna do that. Because I do need Trick Room up to win this game. It is a decent saving grace for us. Um, because this team is fairly fast, thankfully. They've already revealed Maradon, Ensign, and... Uh, Maradon, Ensign, and Perig. They're definitely Terra electric -ing. They're so Terra electric -ing. And that mod is gonna hurt like a bitch. Thankfully, they're AV Ensign. So AV Ensign is kind of decent to muscle. Um, especially with Ursa, that is a decent mod to muscle through. Because they're on Parting Shot. Which helps a lot with us. We're gonna follow me. Do not go for Discharge. Do not go for Discharge. Do not go for Discharge. Anything but Discharge. They're going for Discharge. Fuck. Okay, that's actually really not good. Um, especially if they Flare Blitz and then go on. Do not Flare Blitz Dawnings. Oh, wait, no. Right, they can't Flare Blitz Dawnings. Okay, that's huge. That's huge. Paralyzed Ensign kind of sucks, but this is fine. They Paralyzed Dawnings too. Might actually help. That might actually be pretty good because it helps us underpace for Ray, which is a decent thing. We lose in DD, which helps a lot. Again, I don't mind not having the terrain. I just need the speed advantage. And they have lost their Dragon Typing here. So Torkoal actually kind of cooks. I can also probably just go into Ursa and click an Earthquake, just raw. Just a raw Earthquake. Um, and that'll hurt. That'll hurt a lot. My Dawnwing's actually probably under paces too. I can make that work. Because losing my Dawnwing's here might actually be a good thing. Let me double check though, just to be sure. Uh, for... We are... Paralyzed. And then... Ursa Luna. We are Brave. Um... That's, just, that's zero speed. We actually tie. We technically tie, which is kind of fun. Um, if whoever's watching this watches this, we should probably get rid of that four in speed because it actually avoids the tie and we get guarantee under pace for these sort of situations. Not my team, not my team, not my team. Um, just playing for the para. We're going to go for an immediate earthquake. Immediate earthquake is kind of huge. Um, helps a lot with switching. And just to be safe, we are going to go for a new ice beam. Actually, no, we're going to go for a meteor beam here into the Murata because that kind of cooks. They're definitely switching. They're switching Murata. That's perfectly fine. That's why I wanted to go for the Meteor Beam, because it's at least damage if we can get it off. If we can't get it off, whatever. But at minimum, this is an attempt for damage. They're switching out Incin as well, for sure, for the Intimidate. There's no world where they don't just sack both Pokemon here. Um, or at least switch out of Incin to get that Intimidate off. They're going to go for... Uh, okay. Ooh, Flame Warp. Flame Warp go bye-bye. Oh, that kind of sucks. Didn't think Incin would benefit a lot. Okay. So that's kind of fucked. This is, this is homophobic right here. They go for their knockoff and hit it. They lose me my Flame Orb, which wins them the game. I, actually, okay, I don't know if it wins them the game, but it is a good play for them, for sure, to get rid of my, my Flame Orb. But I get full parried? That's kind of fucked. I mean, I actually, I can't lie. I can't lie. Getting rid of, uh, getting, getting a speed tie win it there, at least, with my Dawnwings is kind of decent. But it's still full parry, so it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, well, they're going to go into their owner, Solita, but it's Blood Moon. So we actually underpace with both our Pokemon, which is kind of huge. Um, my Torkoal is actually really good here. I can just kind of click Corruption. They, they can't tear around the side here. They actually get pressured pretty well by this. Hold on. Um, they're Electric Seed too, which is huge. Okay, so... Eruption does a lot. Eruption objectively does a lot of damage. I'm pretty confident I can kill Farig with this. Um, Ursa Luna... Uh, Torkoal... Let me see. Torkoal versus... Ursa Luna... Blood Moon. Eruption should kill. Or, eruption should murder this. Yeah, okay. Um, just to be safe, we're gonna go for a we're gonna go for a headlong rush here into this, and I'm gonna go for eruption, just raw eruption, raw eruption here. Um, they can only protect an Ursa, that's kind of fine. Um, Frig should definitely die. Still, I'm confident Frig dies. Yeah, eruption should do like 140% for context. So this is still a very okay play. Um, I'm very confident in this. Perfect, Frig dies, and we still have I think two turns of chicken left, and that's a Specs Maradon. So. Numbers don't work in that thing's favor. So, kind of broken. Kind of broken. Hold on. Uh, actually, I think we have three turns of Trick Room. This team definitely wins. Hold on. This team definitely wins. Way more confidently than I thought it would, for the record. I thought we'd have to go for Psy Spam and, like, try and pivot around terrain. But no, the team just kind of beats more right on because we forced the Terra. Um, actually, even we don't even need that. Because realistically, Headlong probably without Trick Room killed. 
Yeah, two turns of Trick Room. Okay, bad, 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 bad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for Headlong here into the Maridon, and I'm gonna go for Eruption here into both. They're gonna cancel Battle. They're gonna cancel Battle right now. Uh, double, a triple Protect actually technically could have won them the game because Blood Moon could have maybe cheesed. But like, yeah. See, if that Eruption, for what it's worth, nearly killed Maridon. Uh, even with Terra Drag, even without the Terra though, I still feel confident that Headlong plus this killed. Even without like Guts, I would argue, because Ursa is a very fucking offensive Pokemon. Uh, losing the Flame Orb sucks, but it's not like game losing. And even with the with the incredibly homophobic full, uh, full para on the Dawn Wings, we still win the game. So, <laughs> team kind of cooks. We went three and one today. Honestly, pretty good. I didn't even need to cut games. Uh, usually, I like to cut them. I, I answered a comment. I, I'm gonna I'll answer this in video because someone actually commented asking this uh, or saying like, oh, you know, it's uh, let me let me actually read the exact comment. It's not even like uh, keep in mind when I read this, it's just I, I, th I thought it was an interesting video, uh, an interesting comment for what it's worth. Um, so someone had mentioned in the comments uh, that I, I love that your games are super relatable. Like, oh, seems like I made a minor wrong decision. Maybe I could still win this. Okay, I definitely lose this. I wonder if other Pokemon YouTubers do not show us all their games. I, I wanted to mostly bring it up because I kind of joked about it a few different times in this video, or at least like brought up cutting games. There's nothing wrong with that for the record. I usually frame them around the general purpose of the video. Not all the time do I have to do that. Like today's four games happen to cut it perfectly. I ended on Maridon. It's a great storybook ending. Don't always do that. There are a lot of times when I cut half the content. Like if anyone thinks that that Gloom game was only four videos when it was in well four battles when it was in reality ten, uh, you're you're kind of smoking on that Gloom. Like like I'll I'll literally I could I, okay I said I wasn't gonna show rating but I can kind of show rating. Um, it's not a big deal. I I don't mind being fully transparent with this again like, just to paint the picture. Like we're 25 and 23 for the season. I don't know if you guys know this, but I have only uploaded, I think, like, six videos for Reggie. Oh, no, okay. No, I've uploaded for eight. Cosmo, Mewtwo, Zama, Dawnwings, Karadon, Maridon, Terrapagos, Groudon. And today is... Wow, today's the ninth. Holy shit. Today is, um... Today is Dawnwings. So, definitely, like, like I'll be the first to admit, games get cut sometimes. This particular one, the only game I cut was pre-recording because I dipped 20 frames in my camera... I wasn't editing the the frame match for that when my camera fucked up and it desynced really badly. Caught it game one though. I lost game one. I'll fully admit that. But like, we went three and one for the video. Three two for the day. If you want to be technical with it. Um. Hopefully you guys enjoyed anyway though. I know I went on a little bit of the rant at the end. Didn't plan to do that to be completely honest. But again, I joked about it a lot in the video anyway. Um. Like cutting two Marad on games. We happened to get it. Figured it would sound kind of suspicious figured as well i just wanted to bring it up because it was an interesting comment I, I literally got the comment today as i'm recording this i figured it was kind of interesting to bring up um i don't know if i'll keep this part in frankly it's been really rambly i'll probably forget to cut it frankly it won't really matter hopefully you enjoy anyway if you do and you want to see more content like this like and subscribe uh consider becoming a member as well i, I feel like a member's content is pretty interesting we have a member poll actually going up on saturday because it's going to be in between those two member builders um and tomorrow we have a member builder with caloric shadow plus dom fan in case you want another team that can bully Maride on. And on Sunday, we're going to have the Ogre team, finally. Uh, it's going to be Ogre, Archer, Ludon, Lando T. Uh, not Lando T, Lando I. Should be pretty fun. Um, our current members are Zeke, Mia, Rasakura, Obo, Endless Gadgets, Incog M, Randy Chapa, and our bigger fan, Josh Ultra Player. Thank you guys very much for your support on the channel. It means the world. And with that said, I will see you guys tomorrow for a Dawn Fan Calorx Shadow team. Thank you, Becca. Thank you for making me use this team. It's kind of going to be funny. I think it'll be funny. It's going to be well-timed, at least. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, guys.